Example number two, applying for action operations. So Bev earns $25 per hour as a machine operator. When she works more than 40 hours in a week, she earns time and a half. That's overtime pay, is considered time and a half. How much does Bev earn for working 46 hours in a week? So we've got this term here, time and a half. To earn time and a half means that you're paid for one and a half hours of work when you actually work for one hour. So you get a bonus half hour on your paycheck for every hour that you work that's at time and a half. So we've got a couple of methods we can use to solve this. Method one, we're gonna calculate in stages. So Bev works 40 hours at her regular rate of pay of $25 per hour. So that's how much she makes for the first 40 hours in the week. So that becomes 40 times 25, uh, which is, what is that, $1,000? So she makes $1,000 for her first 40 hours. How many hours does she work at time and a half? Well, she worked 46 in total, and for the first 40, she makes $25 an hour. So we subtract the 40 from that. 46 minus 40 gives you six hours. So it's six hours she's paid at that time and a half rate. So six hours at time and a half. Um, so then we say, okay, well, six hours at time and a half. So she's gonna get paid one and a half times that. So six times one and a half is the same as three halves. Two times one is two plus one is three, so this becomes three halves. So six times three halves. Six times three is 18, and one times two is two. So when you reduce that down to lowest terms, it becomes nine. So she's actually getting paid for nine hours when she only works that extra six. So she's getting three bonus hours of pay, which is pretty sweet. So amount earned at time and a half is nine times 25, so that's $225. Nine times 25 is 225. So her total earnings overall for the 46 hours, for the first 40, at the regular rate, it was $1,000. And then the amount earned at, at other six hours was 225. So when you add that up, she's making $1,225 for working 46 hours. So that's how that one works. Let's look at another uh, method of doing this. So method two, evaluate using one expression. Bev's regular rate of pay was $25 an hour. And for six hours at time and a half, Bev is paid one and a half times six hours. So we can say that she makes $25 an hour and we're multiplying that by the amount of time that she's getting paid for. Well, there's the initial 40, and then this six, we're multiplying by time and a half. So we can set this up using brackets. So this is the rate of pay, and then this is the total number of hours that she's gonna get paid for. So you're multiplying that overtime hours of six times that one and a half. So you can do this all in one expression, and then solve it. So with bed mass, brackets come first. Brackets, then exponents, which we don't deal with in grade eight, that's grade nine. Then multiplying and dividing comes next in order from left to right, and then adding and subtracting is the third process, left to right. So brackets come first. So we're gonna solve what's going on in here first. But within that, we have to look at bed mass again as well. If we're ignoring the rest of it, that's fine. But within this, we've got bed mass to deal with as well. We've got an adding and a multiplying. So we have to do the multiplying first. So the 40 plus doesn't change. We need to do this multiplying first. So two times one is two plus one is three. So one and a half becomes three halves. So now inside the brackets, we have 40 plus three halves times six. Now we can do that multiplication. Six is the same as six over one. So multiply the tops together, three times six, which gives you 18. And the bottom, two times one gives you two. So now we've got this 40 plus 18 over two. Well, 
18 over 2, if you reduce it down, is just 9. So we can simplify that to 40 plus 9 is what's inside the brackets, and then we've got this 25 times. We can throw this extra line in to show this process. So now 40 plus 9 is 49. We've simplified the brackets now to become 49. So now we can do the last operation, the multiply. So 25 times 49 will give you 1225. So depending on how your brain works, you can use either of these methods. Um, and you should be successful with either one. You get the same answer in both cases. All right, here's some more examples. So we're gonna calculate. Here we go, five six minus one third times three quarters. Well, we've got subtracting and multiplying. Multiplying is gonna be done first, then our subtraction gets done next. So we're gonna ignore the subtraction piece of this and just look at the fractions that are being multiplied. Multiplication, we multiply the top, so 1 times 3 becomes 3. 3 times 4 is 12. So the multiplying part is done. Now, we'll bring the subtraction piece down and rewrite it like this. So now this is subtraction, so we need a common denominator. We've got a 6 and a 12 here. So I'm going to Multiply that by 2 and multiply that by 2 so that my bottom becomes a 12, like this 12. 5 times 2 is 10. 6 times 2 is 12. So now that's what we're working with. 10 over 12 minus 3 over 12. Well, 10 minus 3 becomes 7, and the denominator doesn't change, so 7 over 12. And that's our solution there. <coughs> that can't be reduced any further. So bed mass comes into play a lot here. Uh, the next part, three and a half divided by three quarters minus five sixths. Again, division is gonna come first before the subtraction, but we're gonna change our to an improper fraction first. That will make the division much simpler. So three times two is six, six plus one is seven. This becomes seven halves. Now this is division, I'm gonna actually just rewrite it as multiplication using the reciprocal since I'm rewriting things anyway, and then the subtraction can get tacked on as well. Multiplication first, so we've got 28 over 6 minus 5 over 6. Well, that becomes 23 over 6. We've got a common denominator already, that worked out nicely, which then as a mixed number is 3 and 5 sixths. 6 goes into 23 three times with 5 remainder. So 3 and 5, 6 is your answer for that one. Uh, all right, a couple more here samples to look at. Adding and subtracting. So as far as bed mass goes, they can be done at the same time, but we work from left to right. So that means the adding is going to be done first and then the subtracting. So we need a common denominator for both adding and subtracting. Um, 8 and 3, common denominator for that is going to be 24. Uh, and as it turns out, with the 1 fourth, uh, we can use 24 as well. So I'm just going to change them all right now so that they have a common denominator of 24 all at once. So 8 times 3 will give you 24. So if you're multiplying the bottom by 3, you have to multiply the top by 3. 7 times 3 is 21. 3 times 8 to get you to 24. So if we're multiplying the bottom by 8, we have to multiply the top by 8. So 2 times 8 is 16. Now to go to 24 with a bottom of 4, we have to multiply that by 6. So 4 times 6 gives you 24. So 1 times 6 on top gives you that. So now at this point, uh, we can do our addition first. 21 plus 16 becomes 37 and that's over 24, and then we've got subtract 6 over 24. 37 minus 6 gives you 31, and that's over 24 still. So that's your answer, but this is an improper fraction, and it's improper to leave your answer with an improper fraction. So 24 goes into 31 once, 
with seven remainder. So seven goes on top and your 24 stays on the bottom. And that's your answer, one and seven twenty-fourths. One last example of bed mass right here. We've got multiply and divide. They are done at the same level in bed mass, but again, left to right. So we'll start with the multiply and then we'll do the divide last. I'm gonna convert my mixed number into an improper fraction first. Two times one is two. Two plus one is three. So that becomes three halves. Times one over three and then divide by two thirds. So multiplying gets done first, three times one is three, two times three is six. And then I can bring down my division. So now to divide, I'm gonna take the reciprocal and turn it into multiply. So three over six times three over two. That's the same as three times three over six times two which is 9 over 12. Top and bottom can both be divided by 3. To so try and get to lowest terms. 9 divided by 3 is 3. 12 divided by 3 is 4. And that's your answer on that one. So that's the last of the notes for 6.6. .6, except there is a show you know. So, give it a go.